Very nice. Changing, you know, from Paris. <laughs> oh, big change from Paris. Uh, the weather and also, you know, nice people. <laughs> We can, we can stop where we, we see any interesting places or buildings or view. So it's, it's uh, for me, it, it's first of all for sightseeing. Everything about this is manual labor. Now the car's... That was uh, left standing where the rest of the building uh, got knocked down to the first level. If you look in the center of the cable, it's what they call a, a, a hemp core, a rope core. And uh, uh, what that does is it gives the cable a little bit of flexibility. Right next to me is the bottom of the grip. All throughout the city of San Francisco, a cable moves in a tunnel under the street at nine and a half miles an hour. When it is inserted in the jaws of this grip right here and you pull the handle back, the operator pulls the handle back, it grabs the cable and the car goes with it. You let go, you can let people on and off, when you throw the handle all the way forward, the grip opens out all the way and the cable drops out and the car can sit still.
So for 20 years before the electric motor and the trolley car, cable cars hauled people all over San Francisco and other cities like Chicago. They were the major rapid form of surface transportation and they helped the city start to explode outward the way the trolley car and then the automobile would later on. 